Hello friends, this video on motion part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have talked about distance and displacement, talking about scalar and vector quantities becomes a necessity because uh, explaining or understanding distance and displacement without understanding scalar and vector quantities is incomplete. So let us see what is a scalar quantity and what is a vector quantity. So when I talk of a scalar quantity, it is a quantity with magnitude alone and no direction. This is an important thing. Whenever we say a scalar quantity, that means any quantity which you can define completely only with the help of magnitude. Now what is magnitude? Magnitude is nothing but a numerical value that defines the measure of a quantity. Now let us let me take an example. Now example of scalar quantity is path length and speed. So we'll talk about speed later. Let us take example of path length right now. For example, you have a boy standing here. Now let us suppose the boy moves, he starts moving and he reaches from point A to point B. Now I say that the distance covered by the boy is 10 meters. So what is this 10? 10 is a numerical value which tells me the measure of the quantity. That means it is giving me the measure of the path length. It is giving me the measure of the distance. So this 10 is the magnitude. So this 10 that is the numerical value that defines the measure of a quantity is known as magnitude. Correct? Okay. Now when I talk of a scalar quantity, you can define that quantity completely only with the magnitude. So that means if I say that uh, this boy covers a distance of 10 meters. So that's all. I mean, I am not bothered about the boy went in which direction, whether he went north or he went south or he went east. So I'm not bothered about the direction. When we are happy only with the magnitude, we call that quantity as a scalar quantity. So path length is an example of a scalar quantity as, as you already saw that in case of path length let us suppose if this boy starts from point A he goes right left takes turns and reaches some point B. So what is your path length? This entire length of this entire path is your path length. But in this case, we are not bothered about the directions. We are not bothered about the right, lefts and turns which he took. We just are bothered about the length of this entire path. Correct? Okay. Now when I talk of a vector quantity, we not only need magnitude, but we also need direction. So magnitude and direction are both needed to define a vector quantity. So example of a vector quantity is displacement. So that means in this case, if I am talking about displacement, then I should always mention it this way that this boy moved 10 meters towards east. So that is your displacement. That is when I'm talking of displacement. So whenever it is displacement, I should, I always need to mention the direction. So we can say it in this way that distance plus direction is displacement. I mean distance along with the direction. However, distance and displacement are not always the same. So friends, please understand the difference between distance and displacement very clearly. So distance is a scalar quantity, displacement is a vector quantity. That is the first difference between distance and displacement. The next one is that for distance, the nature of the path followed by the object matters. For displacement, only the initial and the final points matters. The nature of the path doesn't matter at all. Right. So with this, I will conclude my uh, topic on this uh, path length and displacement so that we can go ahead and talk about uh, some other quantities as well. So, so far in motion, what do we see? In order to describe motion, we need position. And in order to describe position, in order to describe the position of an object, we take help of these two quantities, path length and displacement. Because path length and displacement actually take, tells us how much total distance or how much total path has been covered by the object in a specific period of time. Right? Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, 
get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.